Carlo! <laughs> Pinapakilala ko sa'yo si Judge oh, Junji Judge Marcelo. Martin. Yes, Junji. Yeah. Hello, Carlo. Yan, kamusta sa... Kakaka-spring forward lang, ano? <laughs> oh, alam ko, kaka... Yes, apo oh, kaya. Daylight Tapos savings. Yes. Ayan, uh, ikain mo na lang ako sa mga paborito natin. Kain na naman. Ah. Oo, roast coast lang. Roast coast, okay, okay na ako. <laughs> Waffle and chicken. Yeah. Alam ni Kevin yan. Yeah. Oh, alam nyo, hindi nyo naalam. Si Carlo, talagang matagal na yan gumagawa ng kanta. Mm. Oo, at uh, so alam ko, uh, and, and it shows sa kanta niya. And wonderful rendition by someone who also writes a song. Thank you po. Yan. Ang hindi mo alam, si Kevin ay pramiyadong dancer. Oh! Dancer! Isa sa mga athletes natin yan sa World Hip Hop Championship sa, sa oh, wow! International. Yes, I am not kidding. If you only see this guy dance. Talaga? Yeah. <laughs> Sobrang magaling yung batang yan. <laughs> Naparami na po yung kaan. Sample daw. <laughs> Pero, you know, i-google nyo na lang, uh, Kevin Yadaw. Of course, you see him in billboards and commercials. Normally, nagpipinta siya sa mga commercial na nagpipinta. Siya yun. Yan. Alam mo, Junji would know because Junji is a famous uh, hip -hop writer, well. hip-hop yes. dancer, yeah. OG na ang tawag doon, OG. <laughs> yung, yung mga tatanda, oh. OG na ang tawag. Oh, original gangster. Ayun. Oh, pero original gatanda. Yun. Okay, <laughs> okay, let me comment on the song, Wonderfully Sung. Yan. And, uh, <coughs> Bihira akong makachempo ng ganitong tempo na sa praise sa praise song yung ganitong very very up and about na masaya na medyo andun sa not so common na style na ginagamit pero ang saya nung tunog niya eh. so dun pa lang mismo na kasi yung song is about thanksgiving and giving credit to the one who gave you uh, everything okay hihimayin ko lang ng konti Carlo I'm sure sanay ka naman sa nakihimay. O, himayin natin ng konti. Uh, <coughs> uh, I like the imagery. You know, you, you used words like naglalakbay. Uh, although I was hoping you would continue the imagery of journey. Kasi naglalakbay ka, di maiwasan magtanong. Which I can understand. Madalas naman naglalakbay tayo. Nagdadrive ako, nagtatanong ako kay Lord. Di kung bakit abot kay buti mo. Sa so, pagninilay-nilay, mostly when you do nilay-nilay, you're honest. You're not moving. When you talk about nilay, is you're actually steady. Yeah. So you, because you are contemplating, you are, especially in quiet, sa quiet time, di ba? Mas, mas, unless, you know, we do that also every now and then. Creatively, you are doing quiet time while walking. Okay din naman yun. So lusot naman. Lusot. Siguro ang suggestion ko lang, if you could use more imagery in the traveling. Kasi sinabi mo, lakbay eh. If you can use words that would depict more of the traveling. <coughs> May suggestion ako. Dun sa 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th line, na pagtanto kong may sagot. Yung kasunod sa kabila ng sakit at lungkot. Parang hindi masyadong kumokonek yung, yung sagot dun sa sakit at lungkot. So, either palitan mo yung sagot as napagtanto kong may lunas sa sakit. May lunas eh. Cause and effect yan eh. Or, kasi may gamot eh. So, pasok may lunas sa, uh, sa sakit at lungkot, ikaw lang aking gamot. Pasok yon Or, you can, you can choose napagtanto kong may sagot sa kabila ng aking tanong. So, you see the pattern? If you mention sagot, you mention tanong. If you mention lunas, to connect with the sakit, yun. So, yun lang, parang to tie it down. Uh, Carlo, this is, this, is not the, this is not exactly yung cure dun sa kanta, pero I think it will help the song to, to emphasize more on what you want to, to hit. Ngayon, meron akong suggestion. I-copy-paste mo yung thought nung isisigaw kasabay ng padyak at sayaw dun sa pre-chorus na pangalawa. I-copy paste mo sa pre-chorus 1 para yung lahat ng lyrics mo sa pre-chorus ay tungkol sa pagsayaw, pag awit ang galak. Kasi sabi mo sa iyong kumpas ang tanging aawitan ko. Which means, lahat ng pre-chorus lyrics all about music and, and tempo. 
Kasi yung parang mm. misplaced yung nag-iisa walang ibang katulad eh. Parang although it's a good phrase, it probably is good in the chorus. Pero sa pre-chorus, you talk about sarap sabayan, gusto ko. Ikaw lang ang sasabayan ko ng kumpas. So, do not parang do not confuse the listener. If you can put words there all about sa pagsabay, which is uh, isisigaw kasabay ng padyak, uh, isisigaw ihayag ang galak. Eh, rhyme naman siya. Eh. So, pwede mo siyang gamitin. And one pre-chorus lang. Wala ng pre-chorus one, one chorus two. Iko-compare mo lang. Haalisin mo na yung that does not belong, which is yung walang katulad. Uh, <coughs> and then, pag naka-copy-paste mo, use the same. Sa chorus, okay na ako eh. Uh, kaya lang yung, again, for the benefit of the televiewers, Yung nang, yung N-A-N-G versus N-G, magkaiba po. Dito yung nang mo, dapat N-A-N-G. Mabuhay nang may pagmamahal. So, N-A-N-G. research po kung bakit, ano, mahaba kasi usapin eh, yung N-A-N-G versus N-G. Uh, I like the, the payoff, which is dahil sa'yo, eto, dahil sa'yo, eto ako. But if you can put more, because the genre is light and very... <coughs> parang fusionistic siya na style. Maybe I was looking for a mas, mas perfect marriage ng lyrics dun sa melodya. So if you can come up with lighter lyrics that does not necessarily lighten the, the, if the, the, the conviction of the song. You know, something that fits more, parang pang hindi lang masyadong pang chorus yung Dahil sa'yo, natuto ako. Parang i- dapat ano na siya eh. Dahil sa'yo, napapasayaw ako. Dahil sa'yo, napapaawit ako. Dahil sa'yo, napapapuri ako. Nakakapagpapuri ako sa'yo. So something more general as a payoff. And then you can use the natuto ako and, and, and na, nabu- ma- natuto ako mabuhay ng may pagmahal. Pwede yun sa mga verses. But when you, when you say dahil sa'yo, it's, especially in the chorus, it, it is more broad and it's more general and more applicable sa mas nakararami. Uh, I'm not saying all these things to say that it's not a good song. It's a very good song. I wish I had written this song. You know, it, it's a beautiful song. These are just items that you might want to consider to make your song super duper pa. But it's a super song. Congratulations. Wonderful. Wow. Thank you. Para okay. sabihin ni Junji na I wish I was the one who did this song. Be, iba klase. Ganon oh. din ba ang feeling mo, Judge Trina Belamide? Hi, Carlo. Wala ka din to eh. Po. <laughs> um, I, what, one of the things I liked most about this song was yung overall yung music flavor niya. I like the touches, the rock touches. Kasi hindi siya yung usual. No? Marami na tayong narinig na ASOP songs and many of them tend to sound the same. Ito, iba yung tunog niya, iba yung chord progressions. So, yun yung isa sa, yung nagustuhan ko talaga about this song. Iba yung overall appeal niya. Um, I, I cannot do as much paghihimay as Junji, but I did find something na sabi ko, for me, if you will retur- re- uh, retain the lyrics of the chorus, pa, sa akin, sabi ko, parang run-on sentence itong, ano, yung, yung sa chorus mismo na, dahil sa'yo, Natuto ako mabuhay ng may pagmamahal at pagsunod sa iyong salita. I thought you would stop there. At pagsunod sa iyong salita, ang siyang gabay. So I'm like, ah. So I don't know if you mean separate ba yun? Yung uh, natuto ako mabuhay ng may pagmamahal? Is that one idea? And maybe you mean, you mean at ang pagsunod sa iyong salita, ang siyang gabay? I'm not sure if that's what you mm-hmm. mean, ano? So maybe just inserting ang might help. Kasi that would make it two different ideas rather than one long run-on sentence. But overall, I, I enjoyed the song. So, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Overall, I enjoyed the song. Nag-enjoy ka rin ba, Doc Monde Lusario? Honestly, mm. Nagulat ako. Nagulat? Nagulat ako. Bakit? Hindi ko akalain na yung level ng songwriting ni Carlo ay ganito na. Kasi bilang uh, performer, hanga na ako sa kanya eh. Ngayon, matindi. Hindi ito ano, hindi ito beginner eh. 
hindi to beginner na songwriter. Let me point out some of, some of the few points na nakita ko. No? Um, um, importante kasi yung nagre-repeat ka ng mga lyrical templates. Eh. It adds to the recall. And nakita ko na consistently ginagawa mo yun. Eh. No? You use yung mga mga lyrical formulas, umuulit siya doon sa mga song section. Um, although I would agree, uh, sometimes you get lost in the technique, no? when the bottom line lagi is clarity of the message. And at times, when you want to say a lot, yung lahat ng yun lumilitaw talaga sa isang kanta. But then again, kailangan din itemper mo rin yung sarili mo. No? Para hindi mo overwhelm sa detalye yung, uh, yung listener. So I, I would agree. Uh, yung pre-chorus mo, dapat isang, isang set of lyrics lang siya. Perhaps, choose mo yung the best uh, ideas that would be coherent by themselves. Yung, um, sometimes there are lines that are good by themselves, pero when con pag kinumpara mo siya doon sa ibang uh, lyrical lines within the same song section, Parang hindi sila nagsusuporta sa isa't isa. I call them medyo fractured ng konti. So Tom, marami ka actually kukunin eh. Marami kang mapagkukunan eh. And kung ang intent mo lang, you make the song sections coherent. Choose the best lines dun sa dalawang pre-chorus pagsamahin mo. And then, let it be just one pre-chorus. Uh, I, I like also the lyrical template noong sa, sa what you did sa chorus. Kasi um, na-maximize mo na gusto yung, yung title line. Um... I'm not sure, noong una, kung makita, if, the, if this would be the best title. Kasi, markado-markado na eh. Yung katan dahil sa it's almost a national anthem na ba? Oh, really? <coughs> oh. <laughs> Pero, na-justify mo naman. Yun? Justify mo naman. Kasi talagang, ano eh, pinaglaruan mo eh. Pinaglaruan mo talaga yung, ano, yung, uh, yung, yung title na maximize talaga siya ng gusto. Siya yung naging ano eh, siya yung naging peg actually, yung, yung, yung idea yun yung dahil sa'yo. Malinaw eh, doon umikot eh, yung mga, mga uh, ideas and messages. Um, alam mo, ikaw napaka-talented mong songwriter. Thank you po, thank you. I think lang, from someone who's been uh, ahead of you for 15-20 years na, no? mukhang, uh, mukhang naman 2 years lang, Dok. Naman then, matagal, matagal. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, one lesson I've learned is to simplify yung ideas. Kasi sometimes baka they might be good for yung second song mo na eh. No? So, uh, choose the best ideas dito. And I think you did. And there are a lot of good na ideas dito. Baka there might be a need to trim down some of the ideas para mas ma-reinforce no? yung the messages that you would like to relay through your song. Pero, eto, Hindi ito bababa sa akin ng ano? No. Oh. Nang 90. Aba! Oh. Thank you judges. Salamat po. Mm.